So I had some berry cumin and coriander left over from my trip to Turkey and I'm going to finish up the last of it. Um, the only f amount that's left would be whatever my mom, Giz, has. So I have two tablespoons, or I need two tablespoons of coriander seeds, one tablespoon of cumin seed, one tablespoon of fennel, and then one inch of this cinnamon stick, which uh, I think that's two inches. Inches are not really my forte, but uh, I'm going to cut it in half. So I've put my four dry ingredients in a dry pan onto medium heat and I'm going to wait until it starts to smell a little bit. When you want them to release their aromas. My dry ingredients have started to release their aroma and I'm probably burning them too. Next I'm going to deal with the fresh ingredients. I have two tablespoons of peanuts, which I'll need to ground to a paste. One piece of the galanga. I pronounced it galangal and um, I think that was wrong because the guy in the Thai grocery store didn't seem to pronounce the L. And um, fresh ginger, fresh turmeric or turmeric, however you like to pronounce it. Four cloves of garlic. Nine Thai shallots, which look like regular shallots. They might not even be Thai, but that's what the guy in the store told me to get. Six red chilies. Six red chilies. And then lemongrass, which I see you guys have been using that regularly on your blog. Here's my blended have. peanuts. And on the right is the galanga which is lighter in color than the ginger, which is on the left. And I was actually kind of surprised that the galangal was quite dense, hard to chop, particularly since I haven't bought new knives yet and mine are crap. Um, and it also has kind of a sweet smell to it. I've also added the garlic, which you can see kind of top right over there, as well as the fresh turmeric, which is yellow in color. I've read that it actually turns your paste a yellowy color. Looks like a mini carrot. Now I've almost. added my nine shallots, which seems like a lot of shallots if you ask me. I've got tears running down my face and it's not coming out of my nose. I know you wanted to know that. And six Thai red chilies with the stalks removed and the seeds left it. Now I've also added the lemongrass, which you can see there, and the lime zest right over there as well as the shrimp paste, fish sauce, soy sauce, canola oil, and then two tablespoons of finely grated coconut. Now I'm going to blend it up. So there is the wet ingredients blended up. I have my dry ingredients here. I don't know if I'm supposed to mix them by hand, but I've decided I'm just going to put them in the blender. I've got a jar so I can put up my ingredients for Pixie and Rosie's putting up event. There you go, perfect fit. I'm just going to ask somebody else to come and clean up. Any takers? Anyone? Anyone? Stay tuned for a later post where I'll actually use my sauce. That should be interesting. Bye!